So as you know, ADS can help you with work, things like the, the blending and the do my job button. For this year's video, I'm going to show you how, at this very busy time of year, to help uh, with your personal life using ADS. Now, by the time DesignCon's finished, February 3rd, I'm sure you're exhausted, too exhausted to go down to the store and buy your loved one a Valentine's card for February the 14th. So I'm going to show you how to use ADS in a quick and easy way to make your own Valentine card that's much better than one of those store-bought cards. So we'll draw a custom shape. Well, it's Valentine's Day, so let's draw um, a heart. Very quick and easy, just to freehand draw in ADS. I'll draw the right-hand half. Select it. Copy it, paste the other half, flip it, and slide it over and join it up. Now you want to put a custom message on, some uh, something meaningful, in a nice uh, romantic font we have here in ADS. Be my Valentine and just center that one up a little bit. <clears throat> of course, being Valentine, you need some Cupid's arrows, so I'll use the um, I'll use the pins to make some arrows. One, two, uh, let's go three, four. And we're done. So we'll just print that out or send it to manufacturer. But um, now that I'm thinking about this, I'm kind of curious as to uh, how you'd this would look in um, for an eye diagram. So I'm just going to now I've got the port set up. I might as well just simulate this in momentum and find out what the frequency response of a Valentine heart is. I'm curious about it. This part's obviously optional. You don't need to do this for a card. Oh, that's kind of strange. It's kind of a cardioid shape on the Smith chart. Which, if you think about it, is kind of odd. So now I'm really curious what would happen if I took that frequency response and did an eye diagram. So I'll just create a symbol, a look-like component from the um, momentum simulation. Again, this is all optional stuff. You don't really need this to make the card itself. But I was kind of curious. So I'll drop that look-alike component, which is represented by the frequency response in S parameters, into this time domain simulation with channel simulator. Use convolution engine to bring the momentum simulation into the time domain and insert it into this PCI Express channel simulation uses some AMI models actually AMI is French for uh, Ami is, is, is love isn't it? So it's kind of appropriate um, we'll just wire in this Valentine card into the PCI Express channel as you come to think about it, don't tell your uh, significant other you did this. They may be offended that you're doing this. But just between me and you, it's kind of interesting to see what happens. Let's simulate with the channel simulator in the time domain now. See what the eye diagram looks like. It should take a few seconds just to pop up here. And uh, there we go. Oh, Oh, that's really weird. The eye opening is also heart-shaped. I've never seen that before. I'll have to ask Sanjeev about that one. That's really weird. Anywho, there you are. How's how to make a card? And uh, see how it goes for your loved one. What the effort, Action Technologies is not responsible for any broken relationships, pain and suffering, or divorce proceedings caused by the use of advanced design system.